something tore right through these people. They didn't stand a chance. The beast reeks of brimstone and offal. Every breath is thick with blood. You hear what comes next before you see it. The sharp snapping of bones and a yelp of pain as her body starts to twist and undulate. You watch with cold realization. This isn't the end of one life, but the start of another. Gnolls, vicious, monstrous humanoids can spawn from the corpses of dying hyenas. Bones snap as the hyena is hollowed from the inside out, forming a vessel of something new. Her belly splits like a rotten fruit, birthing a frenzy of claws and fangs. beasts. Nothing good is born from a corpse. We should find the rest. Stop the infestation before it spreads. Hear that? Someone's fighting the gnolls. We should help. Don't be a fool, lad. Shut your mouth and keep your head down. Leave the heroics to them that don't value their own skin. With a shock of psychic pain, the pack leader's mind clamps onto yours. You see yourself through her eyes, a pulsing red cluster of organs. Feast. No, a voice has forbidden this meat. Nor see your whole world as a meal. This voice is acting as a leash, but it won't hold them for long. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. A memory. The beast daubs the symbol of the absolute on a cave wall in blood. Very deep, a tadpole struggles to assert control against the ravenous chaos of her mind. You see drow and goblins restraining her, a mind player reaching out, and then the voice bringing order. Eating this meat was forbidden, but it would lead her to a feast. Sensing your presence, the Gnoll's tadpole writhes in ecstasy, echoing your command. Its host will feast on Gnoll flesh to control the hunger, to keep her teeth from your throat. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. <laughs> her mind a hungry pit. The flesh of her pack wasn't enough to satisfy her. The meat here is forbidden. She sniffs the air, then bounds away. There is work to By do. the gods, you're a sweet sight. Are any of my crew still alive out there? This whole journey's been one grim sight after another. Gnolls, goblins, drow. Risen Road's more dangerous than ever. You're the first friendly face we've seen since Eltergard.
We're bound for Baldur's Gate. Got some cargo to deliver. But we've a stop to make along the way. Trinkets for some rich tosser in Baldur's Gate. He gets his shiny baubles. We get a handful of Tarenths. Tarenths are the currency of the Zentarim, a network of merchants and mercenaries with few scruples. You know who we are. Very clever. And you probably also know it's not smart to interfere with Zent business. This is the point when a clever lad like you accepts my gratitude and walks away. I like the way you think. Didn't expect to turn this horror show to my advantage, but why not? The chest's all yours. Damn thing's sealed tighter than a duke's purse strings, so there's no point in trying to open it. I know a fence in Baldur's Gate who'll take it off your hands. Nobody will be the wiser. Don't try to cut me out of the deal, though. The Black Network has eyes and blades everywhere. Crafty swine like you could make a name for yourself in the Zahentarim. Make sure to drop by our hideout. Passphrase of the door is, Little Serpent, Long Shadow. I'll tell my associates to expect you. Really? Remember, getting that chest to Baldur's Gate is your job. Then we share the profits. I'll be glad when we're out of this bloody cave. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Wizard shipments. Secrets. Dangerous. questions. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Just locked. Dangerous. Ambush. No. King's rest. Holly, Zandrum, agent. 